It's believed that a tachyon is formed when energetically strong cosmic rays hit the Earth's atmosphere. So far, the existence of tachyons has not been confirmed, and therefore light can be considered the speed limit at the moment. In addition, tachyons can lead to logical temporal paradoxes. For multiple observers, a tachyon can travel to the future and the past. So, if a tachyon can travel back in time, this leads to the classic casual paradox, for example, in which a traveler can affect his own existence and prevent his own birth or send a message to himself in the past. However, does superfast motion really lead to traveling back in time? In fact, faster than light travel is not necessarily the cause of paradoxes. For one observer, a spacecraft whose speed exceeds the light constant will travel back in time so it will also land in the past before it took off. However, according to the physicist Sabine Hassenfelder, such paradoxes are possible from the standpoint of special relativity, not GR. Thus, another observer, for example, can move along with matter in the same direction, forward in time, which means that the ship for him moves only forward, and therefore cannot break the casual relationship and first land and then only take off. In fact, the second observer follows the entire process and therefore does not see any logical violations that arrive from the perspective of the first observer, who believes that the ship is moving 